Part 2. Silver Snow. Ethereal Moon. Reunion at Dawn. It is Imperial Year 1185. Nearly five years have passed since the fall of the monastery at Garig Mach, and war continues to plague the lands of Fothlin. Ferdiad has been captured. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in shambles. The Leicester Alliance is on the verge of collapse, fractured by two opposing factions, those who support the Adrestian Empire and its ruler, and those who seek her demise. Meanwhile, under Emperor Edelgard's rule of law, the Adrestian Empire continues to expand its reach. The path to a new Fotlin, unified by imperial strength, may yet be in sight. You. How long do you intend to sleep? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now, and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Excuse me? Are you saying you have forgotten who I am? How dare you? Get on your feet. Right now. I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey. Are you awake? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though... There have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Anyway, I've heard some thieves have been spotted around those parts these days. Um, are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but... Who's got time to think about things like that? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing at all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? Are you crazy? I, I told you. They say thieves are running amok up there. And there's plenty of other dangers, too. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you, got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. <laughs> Students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. Why am I even here? I know they won't come, but here I am anyway. How has it already been five years? Time stops for no one, I suppose. Huh? It's... it's you! What are you doing here? Highly doubtful. So you were alive. What have you been doing all this time? Talking at a time like this. Well, if you don't wish to tell me, I won't try to persuade you. All that matters is this. Will you return to the Empire with me? Huh? 
As expected, I knew your answer before I had even asked the question. That means we're enemies now, you and I. My teacher, the time for discussion has come to an end. Swords may cross as they do now. There's no denying that our chosen paths never will. Goodbye, my teacher. When next we meet, one of us will breathe their last. Who is it? Is that... It's you! Yes, it has been. But this is no time for casual chatter. After you disappeared five years ago, do you have any idea how dire the Church's situation became? Where were you? And what were you doing all of those years? You slept for five years. In that case, I suppose there is nothing more to say. You should know that Rhea also disappeared after the battle at Garag Mach five years ago. Since then, the Knights have been fully devoted to searching for her. They have yet to find a trace. It is possible. However, the Empire has not made any such statement as of yet. Even if that were the truth, there is no way for us to confirm. We have searched all over, but we have reached an impasse. Unless we do something, our efforts to find Rhea and rebuild the church will be stalled indefinitely. Our opportunity to strike back is close at hand. Sadly, we are short on military strength. However, now we have you. Do you recall what Rhea told you five years ago? She asked for you to take her place should anything ever happen to her. She entrusted you with leading the people of Fodlan. Then I beg of you, please heed her words. It is up to you to lead us, and to defeat the Empire. No, to defeat Edelgard. There is a very good reason, but it is not yet time to divulge it. Just know that without you, we have no hope. Sir, bandits have entered the area! They stole some hidden weapons and ran off. They're heading for the town, so that might be where they're hiding out. Vile thieves! Even with the knights gone, I cannot believe they would dare trespass here. This is unforgivable. Come, Professor. Let us give chase! In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Imperial Loyalist Cornelia has subdued all regions of the former royal house of Blathed to prevent further revolt. Prince Dimitri has been sentenced. Now, the backbone of the former kingdom, houses Gautier and Fraldarius struggle to continue the resistance. Cornelia, operating out of the royal palace, has accepted the support of the Empire to build an army and plots to wipe out all remaining kingdom forces. In the Leicester Alliance, House Regan leads an anti-Imperial faction, while House Gloucester directs the Empire's supporters. Despite the undeniable threat of fracture, the Alliance's adept new leader, Claude, deftly maintains the outward appearance of a unified front. In Enbar, the imperial capital of the Adrestian Empire, Emperor Edelgard fights to strengthen her regime. She has extended her reach to the kingdom by inciting a coup 
and continues to draw its former lords under her influence in pursuit of controlling all of Western Fodlan. In the meantime, the Knights of Seros have been dispatched to find Archbishop Rhea, who remains missing despite their searching. Left unattended, the monastery at Garag Mach has fallen to ruin and become a haven for thieves. Looters deserve no forgiveness! After them! What the? Intruders! Protect the goods! Stop the thieves! Retrieve our stolen goods! Guide me well. <laughs> Lament your weakness. What's my strategy? It won't be in vain. Defeat me, left. This could turn the tides. I'm stronger than before. Watch and learn! 
Allow me to demonstrate! It won't be in vain. That is all. Let's try this! We had no place to go, so we came back to Garrick Mach. But then... Huh? Professor? Looks like there's a fight! I'm ready to join the battle! It is confirmed that Professor is alive. I will be... cooperating. What are you doing here? Never mind, we'll have to talk later. Help us with these thieves! Here is something to believe in! This could turn the tides. Destiny unfurls. I will prevail. Witness Bridget Pride! More fighting. Thank you. Put me in there. There is always more to learn. Winning is what matters. Spirit, protect me. You did. 
to feed me? Left. Right. alive after all. Well then, I am quite pleased with my choice to come here. Professor? Never mind. We have to focus on winning this fight. Lend us a hand. Let's beat them back. It won't be in vain. I'm so glad I get to see you again, Professor. Strain myself. Now, lament your weakness. Ready for anything. A boon for our future. All of us. If 
I live, I fight. If we split our troops in two, we can attack from the north and the south to trap their leader. Remember our promise from five years ago, Professor? Today's the day! <laughs> Will this ever end? Feels like fighting is all there is. That is all. Have I room to grow? I went back to Bridget once, but I had to be returning to Fogland. This could turn the tides. <laughs> Lucky break. Destiny unfurls. My body and mind. Thank you. 
That's a win for everyone. This is the cost of war. sometimes. Defeat me, left. Another victory. There is still room for improvement. Fine work. Time for pity.
Yes. Progress didn't require so much work. Won't allow it. at your own risk. You shall not survive! Destiny unfurls.
my will to come out here today. But seeing you again, Professor? That's worth a little torture. Ah, Professor, you have not changed a bit. I am so glad to fight alongside you again. fighting. See this war through. I am not well pleased. So, what have you been doing these last five years? Sleeping? Why, I must say, I'm a bit envious. What's my strategy? No! I'm not the one you want! Uh, I guess I've got no choice! It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? He has some treasure from the monastery, too. Do not let him escape! Guide me well. Ah, you should yield me a tidy profit. I thought it would be easy money. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. That man used to be a merchant here at the monastery. He must have fallen on hard times to take up with those thieves. It seems we were able to expel the bandits who were hiding in Garrig Mach. How fortuitous that you students should gather at the monastery like this. We made a promise with the professor. That was five years ago to the very day. We all gave our promise to be meeting here when the Millennium Festival arrived. Though the one who came up with that plan is not here. Edelgard. Still, how incredible that those present gather despite the terrible state of things. <laughs> The most incredible part of it is that you didn't oversleep and miss the reunion. So, that is the reason. Professor, the monastery is safe because of your devoted students. I am now fully convinced that you are the only one who can save Fodlin. No, not so. On the very day I return to Garrig Mach, you awaken and return as well. This is no mere coincidence, but rather the work of the goddess.
actually. Well, it will be easier to just show you. Come with me to the Holy Mausoleum. I realize that since you've been slumbering for so long, you have no idea what has transpired in the various territories. Allow me to explain. After the Battle of Garig Monk, there was a change of regime in the kingdom. House Blathid suffered a series of brutal massacres, which claimed the lives of Dimitri and Regent Rufus. The kingdom capital fell and was absorbed into the empire as the Fargus Dukedom, which is now under Cornelia's control. Some still resist the empire. As of now, Rodrigue of House Fraldarius is at the center of such efforts. In the Alliance, Claude leads the faction that opposes the Empire, and Lawrence leads those who have sided with them. The front lines are ever in motion, but the war effort has stagnated overall. In short, both the Kingdom and the Alliance have been swallowed up by the Empire and are on the verge of collapse. We must gather our generals and soldiers under your command and reverse this dire situation. Flane, look! The Professor has returned to us! Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, goodness! It really is you, Professor! I cannot believe you are still of this world! We were so worried we would never see you again! I forgot something important at the Holy Mausoleum. I told my brother that I had to go back for it no matter what, and so here I am. After we finished here, we were going to continue our search for Rhea. But now that you are here, things have changed. We must not waste this opportunity. We shall send word to the knights scattered all across the land. The time has come for the Knights of Saros to return to action. We are counting on you, Professor. <laughs>